Good morning, everyone. My presentation is going to be on sensation in mollusk cases. And it's really an appreciation of this book, Survival the Mollusk, which was published by Rajan Sankran and Sudhir Baldota in 2008. Well, in 2008, my knowledge of mollusk remedies was practically non-existent. And then this wonderful book came along and really opened up the whole world of mollusk remedies. I know not just for me, but for many of us. And I absolutely loved that book. I think it's like a gold standard of what a homeopathic book should be. It's it's a nice size, you can hold it, and it's beautifully produced. The pictures are beautiful, and the zoology is first class, and the homeopathic information is just brilliant. And you can dip into it, can't you, for one or two minutes and just get information out. It's really accessible. So I'm very grateful for that book. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just have to try harder. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is show three mollusk cases, one from each of the main classes of the mollusk family, a bivalve, a gastropod, and a cephalopod, and hopefully uh, communicate the general idea of the mollusk sensation, but also compare it in the three classes, and also we'll look closely at three specific remedies. So the first case is a woman, 45-year-old, and chief complaint is headaches, but she's also suffering with anxiety, insomnia, and hip joint pain, and there's a waiting surgery. And what I'm going to do is show you a number of different clips, just one or two minutes long, and each clip will be reflecting a certain aspect of mollusk sensation, a specific area of the sensation. So to start with, this woman is talking about the shell. So that's the shell that's been attacked by birds and cracked. <clears throat> Let's analyze it so far, what we've got so far. There's already a lot. So general animal themes, she talks about being safe. Someone can get through to you. Anyone can take over. I wasn't strong enough to say no. These are all any animal expressions any animal case might produce. Then Moller's words, untouchable, nothing can get through to me. So the idea of having some kind of wall or protection. And then shell words, fragile and damageable, like crystal, very thin. It can snap, and you can break little bits off. And she does these little hand gestures, just snapping, breaking. Now we're going to look at the mantle. And the mantle is a unique part of the structure of a mollusk, and it's like a second skin, and it's the dorsal body wall which covers the visceral mass, and it's this, this area here. And now she's going to use expressions which relate to this unique part of the mollusk structure. <clears throat> 